In this tutorial, we are going to develop an exercise about how can we calculate the torsion center or center of rigidity. To do this, we are going to take advantage from the previous exercise, a stiffness soft and stiffness extreme soft historic irregularity tutorial, where we already calculated the stiffness of each frame from each story with the Wilbur equations. The torsion center is a location within a floor diaphragm at which lateral loads produce only translational displacement and is calculated through the stiffness of the frames that act in each story. The equations to find the center of rigidity in each orthogonal direction are these, where RYI is the frame stiffness in Y direction, XI is the distance from a convenience point to the analyzed frame in X direction, RXI is the frame stiffness in x direction and yi is the distance from the convenience points to the analyzed frame in y direction. The frames stiffness for each frame and each story are in this table. Now we proceed to calculate the coordinate of the center of rigidity in x direction. For example, for roof story, we use these convenience points and multiply the stiffness of the frame A by the distance in x direction in this case is zero. For frame B, we multiply the stiffness of the frame B by 160 inches. For frame C, we multiply the stiffness of the frame C by 245 inches. And for the frame D, we multiply the stiffness of the frame D by 400 inches. And the result, we divide it by the summation of the stiffness given a result of 201.27 inches. The process with the coordinates of the center of rigidity in y direction is the same. In this table are the coordinates of the center of rigidity of each story. Also, include the coordinates of the center of the mass and shear center from the previous exercises, calculus of the center of the mass and calculus of the shear center for this building. This picture show us where are located the center of the mass, the shear center, and the center of rigidity of the structural floor 3. Also, we can observe from the table that the structural floor 1 is where occurs the largest eccentricities. This is due to this building as proved on tutorial discontinuity in lateral strength weak and strength and string weak historic irregularity, the first floor is quick to resist the lateral forces regarding the other histories above due to the rigged belt that is stiff in the second floor and can potentially generate inelastic displacement that could turn in the collapse of the building as shown in this picture. And that is why it's forbidden in the American Society's Civil Ins Standard for the sign category D, E and F. With this conclude this tutorial.